Ev Tov, Talmudim. Sorry about the late video here, but it's been a bit of a week, as you can imagine. So just wanted to go through the homework real quick since I didn't get a chance to do that in class. And hopefully, Lord willing, we'll have time to go through homework five in class this next week. Don't forget about the vocab test. That'll be fun. All sorts of funness uh, coming up. So without further ado, let's go through these six homework exercise problems here. So the first sentence, if you're reading along, is Hatalmidim Hatovim Po V Hatalmidim Raim Lo Po Hem Sham. So putting it together here, we have uh, the students. So notice the definite article here, ha, and then Talmidim is the word you know. So the students. Uh, the students and then this ha tovim is making the adjective attributive so we have the good students the good students uh, Hebrew always does implied verbs so always not always but most of the time are here po the good students are here. And then the Vav, that can be but or and. Here it feels like a contrast. But, now, in full disclosure, when I meant to write this sentence, I meant to do the same construction with an article on Raim, but I didn't. So if that threw you off, that's okay. Um, so this is what, if it was Ha Raim, it would be the bad students because it, it's still Ha Talmidim Ha Raim, that would be the bad students. But since the article is not on the adjective, it actually is forced into being a predicate relationship. So it really says, but the students, the students are bad are bad, and then you probably have to do a comma, um, not here, comma, they are there. So it's a little, it's a little weird, and so Ha Talmudim, the students, the students are bad, that's where we get that, and then Lo is the word for not, and then po is here, so not here. You have to, um, the implication is they are not here. So the students are bad, not here, they are there. They, referring to the hatalmadim, they are there. So that's how the student, or how the sentence goes together. The students are here, the good students are here, but, but the students are bad, not here they are there. So it's a little awkward because I forgot to put the article on there, but it still actually makes sense. It's just um, probably not what you were thinking. Um, in fact, some of you probably did translate it, if I remember correctly, seeing some of the sentences as uh, the students, um, the, the, the bad students are not here, which is what I intended to do, but because I forgot to put the article in there, um, there you go. That's what happens when you make your own homework and you forget about it. So that is the first sentence. And we can always come back if you have questions in class. Feel free to ask about those as well. So number two. Ani Omer ki yesh li devarim. So Ani is I and Omer is I am speaking. I am speaking or saying. I am saying that, I'm saying that, ki is that or because, so in this case I am saying that, yesh li, remember, uh, yesh is there is, there are, and then li is to me, it could be laka, to you, so yesh laka would be there is to you, meaning you have, so it's an idiom, so yesh li means I have, so I am saying that yesh li, I have, Yesh li devarim, words or things. All right, so number three. So at 
O mara el haish ki hu tov. So you are saying to the man, at you, it's feminine singular. So feminine singular, feminine singular, you are saying to the man. So el haish, so at omara. So remember the omara is the feminine singular form because it is feminine. So that's why we have at being used, at omara. If it was ata or uh, hu, it would be omer. So hu omer or ata omer. El haish. So you are saying to the man that he is that in this case. He can also be that or because, but in this case it's that. Hu tov. He is good. So you are saying to the man that he is good. Okay, so that's how we do that one. Um, the key clause is really important, by the way. That uh, sets off a new, a new clause, a new phrase usually, so that's uh, important to pay attention to. All right, number four. Ein lech ach, lein ek, ein lech ach, v'yesh la'achot ma'im. Okay, so this is a little different, but if if you know how things work, you should be able to figure it out. I don't think we've had anything like this yet. So, ein is the non-existence particle. So, ein lech is, there is not to you, meaning you do not have, and that's a feminine. So, you don't have... Ach, a brother. So that's up to this point. Ein lech ach. Ein lech ach. So you don't have. So ein lech would be you don't have. Ein li would be I don't have. Ein li. Ein lo would be you don't have. Or he doesn't have, sorry. Ein lo would be he doesn't have. Ach, a brother. But, but is the vav here in this case, or it could be and. You could translate it either way. That's totally fine. And yesh la'achot. So this, instead of yesh li, which would be I have, yesh la'achot would be the sister has. The sister has ma'im. Whoops, writing it in uh, Hebrew. Vata. Vasa. So, yesh la'achot, the sister has, what does the sister have? Yesh la'achot, ma'im. Ma'im yesh la'achot. All right, so you don't have a brother, to feminine singular, but the sister has water. So, obviously very interesting. Uh, number five, yesh lo sus. So, this follows the same pattern. So yesh li sus would be I have a horse. Yesh lo sus, 3ms, would be he has a horse. So he has a horse. Vahasus lo holek el hasade. So he has a horse and or but the horse Hasus loholek, loholek. The sus does not go. The sus, the horse, does not go. Does not go to the field. El hasade. El hasade. The horse does not go to the field. So if it was uh, hapara. If it was feminine, sus is masculine, but if it was ha para, it would be holaka, lo holaka. So the verb here, holake, is for masculine singular, but if it's holaka, that would be for feminine singular. So if it was para or torah or something like that. So he has a horse, and the horse does not go to the field. So that's what the sentence reads. And again, if you have questions, feel free. We can we can ask, talk about it in class. Okay, so he is she, feminine singular. 
So that's why it's not Shomer, but it's Shomera. So he Shomera Devare Hamore. So Devare Devare is in construct, a plural construct. Construct. So she is guarding or keeping Shomer. Shomara, he Shomara, it comes from Shamar. Remember, that's the one, one of the ones that I gave you that did not have vowels underneath it, and you have to memorize it that way. So, Shamar, that's a terrible mem, by the way, but such is life. So, she is keeping Devare Hamore. So, she is keeping the words of the teacher. So, let's put it out there. She is keeping the words remember when you have the tsere yo ending divarim is the plural for davar word matter thing davar is divarim but when it's in construct meaning that you put an of in construct means you just put an of between between them they're linked inherently so they're one thought one concept so divare hamore is the words of the teacher Hamore, the words of the teacher. We'll just put teach. The words of the teach. But here we have the vav. But hanaar omed sham. But the young man is standing there. And or but hanaar, the young man. Young man is standing or stands. You could just say it that way. Sham, there. So, all together, he shomara devare ha more vahanaar omed sham. So, she is keeping the words of the teacher, and the young man is standing there. So, that's the how the homework should be looking this time. Again, I apologize for being behind, having taught over 40 hours this last week. I'm a little behind playing catch up, but Hebrew is one of my favorite, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is also leaving me. Hebrew is one of my favorite classes, so I do appreciate all the work you guys are doing. Keep it up, and Lord willing, we'll have another good class on Tuesday. We'll see you then.